Hello YouTube family, welcome back and let's prevent a solution given this nice algebra problem which is a squared minus a cubed, this is equal to 150, so what is the value of a? Now solution, solution, we have that 8 power 2, subtract 8 power 3, this is equal to 150, okay? Now from what we have here, we take 150 on the left hand side, so that we'll have a squared, subtract a cubed, subtract 150, this is equal to 0, okay? Now, we can express 150, this can be expressed as 125 plus 25. So 125 plus 25 is the same thing as 150. So let's substitute this, we'll have a squared minus a cubed, okay? Uh, subtract... 125 subtract 25 okay this is equal to to zero now from what we have here we can rearrange this as a squared okay subtract a cubed subtract 125 125 can be expressed as 5 to power 3 so this is minus 5 power 3 subtract 25 which is 5 to power 2 this is equal to 0, okay? Now, we have 5 to power 3 and 5 to power 2, so we can be able to combine this. We'll have 8 to power 2, subtract 5 to power 2, subtract, now here, we'll have 8 to power 3 plus 5 to power 3, this is equal to 0, okay? Now, from what we have here, we have two parts. The first part is what we have here, which is actually the, the, the difference of two squares, expressed as a to power 2 minus b to power 2. Now, this a squared minus b squared. And we have the second part here, which is in the form of 8 cubed, okay, plus b cubed, all right? So, let's proceed. We have 8 to power 2 minus 5 squared, Okay, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b, okay? So from what we have here, a squared subtract 5 squared, this is the same thing as a plus 5, then a minus 5, okay? Now, the second part is actually in the form of a cubed, okay? plus b cubed, which we can express as a plus b, a squared, okay, subtract a b plus b squared, okay? Now, from what we have here, we have a cubed plus 5 cubed, which is essentially equal to a plus 5, a squared, Okay, subtract 5a plus 5 squared, okay, which is 25. Now, we have two parts here. Let's combine. We have the first part, which is a plus b. We have the first part, which is a plus, which is a plus 5, okay, a minus 5, okay. Subtract into the parentheses a cubed plus 5 cubed, which is a plus 5. Into the bracket, we'll have a squared. Subtract 5a plus 25. This is equal to, to 0. Now, a plus 5 is common here. So, you'll have a plus 5. Into the parentheses, we factor out a plus 5, which is common. Huh? So, you'll have a subtract 5. Okay, subtract, now this is a squared minus 5a plus 25, this is equal to, to 0. Now we have two parts here, the first part is a plus 5, which is equal to 0, and the second part, it's a, the second part we have a subtract 5, subtract a squared, okay, minus we have minus times minus 5 is this is plus 5a okay subtract 
25 this is equal to to zero now from the first part here this is essentially a that's we can call this one a1 this is equal to negative 5 okay so let's get the other possible values of a we have we have negative a squared okay let's combine a plus 5a so this is plus 6a then minus 5 minus this is equal to negative 30 this is equal to 0 so we multiply both signs by negative 1 so negative 1 times this this is a squared subtract 6a plus 30 plus 30 this is equal to 0 now what we form here is a quadratic equation so let's solve for the other possible values of a given this quadratic equation we have this quadratic equation which is a squared minus 6a plus 30 is equal to 0. now this quadratic equation is in the form of this is we can call this one um, ax squared plus bx plus c which is equal to 0. now we have a from the quadratic equation a is equal to the coefficient is 1 the coefficient of b is negative 6 and the and the constant c is equal to 30. all right now applying the quadratic formula applying the quadratic formula we can solve for the other possible values of a okay that is a2 and a3 can be solved by applying quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a okay so this is equal to let's substitute this is negative negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 6 squared actually that is 36 subtract 4 times 1 times c which is 30 divided by 2 times 1. now from what we have here negative times negative this is 6 plus or minus the square root of this is 36 subtract 120 divided by 2. now we'll have 6 plus or minus the square root of that the 6 minus 120 this is negative 84 divided by 2. now again we proceed this is 6 plus or minus we can be able to express this negative 84 as this is can be expressed as 4 okay multiplying by 21 multiplying by negative 1 all this divided by by 2 okay so let's proceed we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 21 times negative 1 so that means this is 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 this is 2 okay square root of negative 1 this is i then square root of 21 divide by by 2 so here if you simplify we'll have 3 plus or minus i square root of 21 so we have two complex uh, roots here that is a2 it's equal to 3 plus i square root of 21 and a3 this is equal to 3 subtract i square root of 21 now this a2 and a3 these are two complex roots okay these are two complex roots and these two complex roots actually cannot give us a real solution now the only root that will give us a real solution is a1 which we determined as negative 5 this is a real root okay this will give us a real solution this will give us a real solution so um as you might recall if you recall if you recall we end at 8 to power 2 subtract 8 to power 3 this should give us a value of 150. so let's substitute this real root we'll have negative 5 to power 2 subtract negative 5 to power 3 this should give us a value of 150. so negative 5 to power 2 this is 25 subtract 5 to power 3 this is negative 5 to power 3 this is negative 125 this should give us a value of 150 so this is 25 negative times negative is positive so plus 125 this should give us a value of 150 so we can see this is 
150. And that means that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. This is equal to the right hand side. And that affirms that we have three roots from our, con our algebra problem. So follow the steps. And kindly, if you have not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button and like this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.